Only for some bad when the club closed. Hold VIP Trump full of drugs. The views and opinions expressed on the following radio program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of WorldTunedRadio.com, its management, or other hosts or advertisers. The shows found on WorldTunedRadio.com can promote any lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practice. The following program is for entertainment purposes only. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Social with Marks Noel. I'm your host, Marks Noel, here with the gorgeous, beautiful Miss Catalina. How you doing today, Miss Catalina? Doing so good. So happy to be here with you again. Yes, yes. Another Sunday. Always makes me happy. On the air, doing our thing. Uh, so how how was your how was your weekend? What did you do this weekend? What did I do this weekend? Um, just kind of hung around. We watched a lot of movies. One of those lazy, lazy weekends. Those lazy movie weekends, yeah, right? Yeah, so much fun. <laughs> but it was it was actually kind of nice outside, so I felt a little guilty. But it it was a nice nice yeah. day. I mean, uh, I live inland, so I mean, uh, it's sunny inland, and then when you go out to the beach area, then it starts to get cloudy. So exactly. I wonder how many people really enjoy living next to the beach or by the beach because you have a lot of cloudy days. Yes, that's true. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, so, hey, uh, I want to encourage you guys again. Uh, ne- last week we had Malachi, uh, Malachi uh, Cohen on the, on the show, and uh, he is going to be performing on Tuesday um, and in um, Universal City Walk, right? That's going to be awesome. We're yes. going, right? Yes, we will be there. So uh, you'll watch out for our post. You can see there. And if you guys want to go uh, to this performance, uh, check out the Soul Suit with Marcus Noel on um, uh, on Facebook, and you can see the post that we'll have to go to his event. Uh, he's and amazing. he's amazing. Yeah. He's really, really good. I see so many really good things coming from him. Oh, most definitely. I mean, he's superstar, superstar starting yeah. pretty much. So, hey, we got a great show for you guys today. Uh, we're going to have a guest in the building, local artist, local talent. I can't wait to hear um, this. And uh, I, I'm telling you, he's good. He's very, really very good. good. Yeah, he's very, very good. Uh, so if you guys have been following us, you know who this is. But when he's in the building, we you will know even more. So I encourage you guys to stay tuned. Um, and uh, as always... You are listening to Soul Sweet with Marcus Noel on WorldTuneRadio.com. Let's go. Make no excuses now. I'm talking here and now. I'm talking here and now. Let's go. Your time is running out. I'm talking here and now. I'm talking here and now. It's not about
I'm too old to be frontin' when I'm feelin' Denzel and actin' like you ain't appealin' when you are Stuntin' like you ain't my only girl when you are I'm ready to stop when you are She's on fire, she's so hot, I'm 
the shot. Just hold it, drop, 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 drop it like it's hot. Dirty talk, dirty man. She a freaky girl, and I'm a freaky man. She on the rebound, broke up with an ex, and I'm like Rodman, ready on deck. I told her I wanna ride out, and she said yes. We didn't go to church, but I got I'm blessed. I know my rent was gonna be late about a week ago. I work my ass off, but I still can't pay it though. But I got just enough to get off in this club and be a good time before my time is up. Hey, let's get it now. Wanna see that thing drop From the back to the front to the top You know me, I'm off in the cut Always like a squirrel, looking for a nut This is up for show, I'm not talking about luck I'm not talking about love, I'm talking about lust Now let's get loose, have some fun Forget about bills in the first of the month It's my night, your night, our night Let's turn it up I knew my rent was gonna be late about a week ago I worked my ass off But I still can't pay it though But I got just enough To get off in this club going through tough times believe me been there done that but every day above ground is a great day remember that This is WorldTunedRadio.com. Back in the most amazing way. Officially here. So crazy right now. On WorldTune Radio. WorldTunedRadio.com. You listen to the Soul Sweet Marks the Well here with the gorgeous, beautiful Miss Catalina. Hey, I told you guys we have a great, great show for you tonight. Uh, you know, this, this cat in the building right now... Um, I, I mean, I was just surprised that that I mean that he did what he did, but he does what he does so well. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is passionate and musically inclined. This, it describes who this person is. He is a lyricist. He plays the drums. Perform. Uh, he's he's a poetic MC. I believe. Oh. <laughs> I try. I do poetic try. Poetic MC. I try. We have the one and only <laughs> Mr. Uh, so. Jern yes, sir. in the building. Hello. Sojourn. So Sojourn. Salute. Salute. Hello. Hello. Everybody. Hello. How, how you doing? What's good, party people? Hey, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm well. Hello. Yeah, Hello. glad to be here. And uh, thank you guys for having me, first off. Well, yeah. no, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. It's a so, long drive for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, down the road. Down, uh, down, okay. down the road. <laughs> down the way. So, Sojourn. How did how yes. the name Sojourn come from? And where? How, who is Sojourn? All right. All right. Good question. Um, well, I've been a part of hip hop culture for years, a good, mm -hmm. good portion of my life, actually. And uh, like most MCs, um, I went through a, you know, you go through your little name changes or whatever. And so yeah. like 
a long time ago was like Kid Ace back in the day, you know what I mean? And then I was beatboxing for other cats. And then and then when I, uh, you know, about 90, well, 92, I, I had the name uh, Triune. Okay. And uh, after a while, uh, that kind of got played out to me. And then I, I was reading. I was actually reading and I came across this thing. It's actually, it was actually in the Bible that I saw this word sojourn and it mm -hmm. stuck out to me. And I was like, Sojourners. I was like, okay, so I went and looked it up. And I, that, yeah. that name was actually in the Bible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, <laughs> but not like that. It was, it was in the context of your sojourners on this planet oh, or, or okay. whatever. So I read that and I was like, that's kind of an ill word or yeah. ill word. So I looked it up and I thought, okay, that could be a dope name. <laughs> and so that's, that's, that's where it came from. And then also, you know, the takeoff of, so, from Sojourner Truth as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's where it came from. That's, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yes. I've I've never heard that I've never heard that word before. Mm -hmm. Um and then now that you you put it into uh you know relation to it. Yeah, I mean, context, it's, it's actually yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. That's really thank cool. You. So, yeah. how did you start into music? Where where did this come from? Uh, I mean, where were you, this, where were you this, born? Yeah, where, did yeah, you yeah. come out? Did you come way, out the womb way, way like back. that? Did you yeah, just come yeah, out yeah. the womb just beatboxing? Some, some might say. <laughs> some might say. My, ask my mom. She probably will tell you that. Um, <laughs> um, no, but I, I actually started when I was really really young. My yeah. mother actually sings. My dad sang at one point as well. Um, I. I I kind of came into a kind of a musical family, mm -hmm. just uh, always appreciated music. And then at five years old, I knew like my instrument. At that time, it was the drums. And okay. so I begged my moms to get me this little drum set. <laughs> so I had this little red drum set. It's a little red and white drum set that I broke pretty quickly <laughs> because you, it, yeah is yeah. that the ones my brother played the drums mm. and he he learned at like two three years old he was mm. playing for church yeah and he, then he went on tour all mm. around the world playing the drums yeah but back in the day the parents always started out with the drums because my parents didn't have money a lot of money mm -hmm. so they bought the paper one <laughs> that's pretty much paper. that's exactly what happened like i had the paper yes that's why i broke it so quickly i think that was... you, and, you buy, and you buy like you buy refills and yeah. you <laughs> it, it's almost like that it's like but, your, but I, I, I i think they didn't know yeah, at the, drum the time heads paper yeah and, oh, and, wow. and and i promptly broke mine so <laughs> And it wasn't even like the snare. I put a hole in the kick drum. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, mom was like, okay, this is, this is enough for now. So I didn't actually play drums again until I was in my, like, I was, gosh, preteens. And I was, in, and it was always through, and it was always in different like church settings because mm -hmm. they were the ones that had the drum sets. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I, you know, I was a kid in, you know, military family. I was all over. I wasn't anywhere where there would be any drums except for in a church setting. And that's where, that's kind of where it, it kind of grabbed me and I would find out whoever the illest drummer was or whoever was playing on the, the you know the singing team or whatever the worship team and I would watch that guy and I would find out and I would try to you know emulate him and then just you know over time I was I would figure out stuff and then I was always a hip-hop head at the same mm -hmm. time so these tapes because it, it was on tapes back then <laughs> um, I would have tapes of stuff and I would you know there would be records and all that stuff so I would try to emulate the breaks and, and the drum lines that I would hear on these records so that's that's where a lot of it came from that's that's the same thing uh, you, you you say the same thing that my brother said I mean he didn't have the lessons of, of mm -hmm. the drumming yeah. um, and all that stuff and one of the one of the best drummers i ever heard um mm -hmm. and it's always emulated i mean back in the day when it was on tapes uh he had the headphones yep. and then put the tape in and then he's playing to the drums right. and everything like that dissecting the music and mm -hmm. and and getting all the drum over lines and over yep. again. yeah yeah but it, yep. but it wasn't Rewind. it wasn't work it was like it was a passion yeah you know what i mean for sure that's pretty definitely, cool definitely that's pretty cool yeah, but that's where that's where it all came from. And that's that's kind of what grew. And along that timeline, like I was, you know, in, in school and whatnot. And that's when I started beatboxing for other cats. And I would be in the ciphers and I would hear these dudes beatboxing. And I, would, I mean, these dudes rhyming mm -hmm. and it would get to a point, you know, they're rhyming to get the girls or whatever. And and I was I, I got to a point where I was like, these dudes aren't that fresh. <laughs> Let me go home and write my own rhyme. You know what I mean? And then, you know. 1988 yeah i'm dating myself but 1988 i was like oh, i'll write my first rap about school you know because that was what you did then and then it took off from there and then, then i would you know find other dudes that would rhyme and we would kind of make our little crews and stuff like sweet. that but that's where it came from Very that's cool. what's up yeah. man yeah that's really cool salute i i i rem i um i remember all not, i can't say all the way back then all the way <laughs> uh, mm, well no, I, I i actually can but everybody was was rhyming and rapping and 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 um 
beatboxing and, and, and dancing, trying, you know, dancing. Well, the yeah, dancing. And, the str- well, bringing yeah. down your your cardboard, right? Are yep. your your your, your, that's, that's the time. your cardboard? Yeah. Are your your linoleum right. tile that yep. you rolled out? Whatever of. was there. That's, <laughs> that's right. Just the culture. That exactly. Out there doing their that's thing. right. And then everybody was either battling each other, but it yeah. wasn't a it wasn't like a a fight battle no, type respect, of thing. Yeah. It was you respect that cat right. who, yeah. who can do that stuff. Yeah, like. exactly, exactly. And that was the thing. It was like who had the dopest rhyme or who had the 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 line that made everybody go oh yeah or whatever it was. And then that was like okay, that's the dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's you know what I mean. So. And they'd be bringing people to you too. Like, yeah, you I, like yeah. you gotta check this guy. Or yeah. actually. I bet you he can he can battle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if it wasn't that, it was the talent shows. And I was doing a little bit of both and I was doing more of like the the talent shows and the assemblies cuz once they knew that like I was going to do it anyway, mm-hmm. they were like, "Well, wait, can we get you to do this for this assembly and for this, you know, this or whatever?" And then it it kind of snowballed from there. And then I was like, "Okay, cool. I'll write this little rhyme there." Mm-hmm got the little stage time and all that stuff and that's that's where it kind of grew and grew and grew Do you get a lot of like private parties first and, <laughs> like, like house parties no 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 it didn't, it, no i definitely not a couple backyard parties yeah. but that was fun. that was never like oh by request it was like we just show up you yeah know what I mean? it just, were you yeah. were you nervous when the first time you went up on stage to, to perform or even like an assembly or something like that um i think so i i, I would have to say yes but i mean it, it was this was after like a long time of, of practicing too, because uh-huh. a lot of times it was like, you know, we had the, we had the tapes, you know, uh-huh. being the, of the beats and whatever, and we would have our little our routines planned out and everything. So, I mean, it was a little bit of nervousness, but I mean, once once you get out there on that stage and you hear the music, mm-hmm. it's like something else takes over and you just go. You know? It's something about music in your soul, man, because it can it it can drive you, it can take you, it pushes you to places that you never thought you'd be. Or makes you. It, it, it takes control over you, no doubt. And then when you got the talent as well to beatbox, to to write your rhymes and to to perform them at the same time, yeah. it makes people want it. You want to have people hear you. I yeah. mean, and it's good. Word. It's good. Definitely. Thank you. Word. That's good. I I want to. I we got to hear some of his music yeah. too. So I mean, well, not yet, <laughs> not yet. I got to ask one more question. Okay. All right. I got to ask one more question. And I, I usually will have this question later on mm-hmm. after I've listened to music. But I want to ask you straight out. What makes what makes uh, Sojourn's music different from other people? Mm. What makes my music different from what other makes people? it different? What makes it your own? What makes it different? Your own stamp. I would say, I mean, I would say first off, like my story is not. I mean, it's it's. I mean, there are there are things that are similar to other people in terms of like you know your story, but I, 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 you know, there's an old phrase is nobody can be you, but you. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things for me, that's always stood out for me. And then also like my, my ear for, for music leads me to write in a way that it's just a little bit left of what most cats are doing. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's just from like a rhythmic standpoint. Like I, I, I try to write in ways that they hit the track and they, they, I find different pockets inside the beat you know, to, to kind of stand out or be different or be like another instrument. So, I mean, aside from that, I would say, you know, my, my commitment to, you know, being a thinker, um, you know, I, I'm, I try to be, you know what I'm saying? I try to be a follower of Christ. So that's kind of reflected in my, my lyrical content. Um, you know, but I also, I'm human, so I mess yeah, up, you definitely. know what I mean? So <laughs> that's going to be in there too. You know what I mean? And that, a lot of, a lot of my stuff, uh, a lot of the stuff on this record, it is it, reflective of that as well. So that's, that's, that's what that. kind of makes it stand out. All right. So Solutionist. Yes. What is this about? Solutionist. Okay. Uh, this is a tune that it, it was, it was birthed out of, you know, kind of a frustration, uh, and a, a lot of, you know, a lot of other artists that I know kind of have the same frustration as like the the cats that are getting a lot of the shine and whatever Mm. um they don't have much substance to them and they don't have a lot of a lot that they're saying and instead of continuing to complain about the state of hip-hop i wanted to start making the type of music that i wanted to hear and that i wanted other people to hear and that's what solutionist is kind of a play on words of solutionist and you know being a solution instead of the problem and that whole quote from gandhi is be the change that you want to see so that's where it comes from. All right, yeah. here we go. Solutionists. Yeah. Soul Sweet Marks the Well, World Tune Radio. Hey. 
back. I offer this from off of the beaten path to off some of the awful audio y'all been subjected to by contrast. This is awesome, made to connect with you in that place that calls for more of your artists who neglected to deliver more than half hearted. I live to give your whole soul music imparted to help you down the road if you so choose to use it. If not, then let it go and discard it. I'm not concerned because the reason I started to speak on a mic was to lead you to light and expose my own darkness. So you know, I mirror you, I just express like this with a raised fist in the face of resistance. I spit flames to burn away your indifference. My pen sprays with a mission, never to cease to completion is reached. I work to repair the breach. So Jay, with that musical solution, you see. Hey, yo, so we don't complain about the game, it will ruin it. We all the change, we want to see solution is. And heart and mind is where revolution is. And life is all might is where we show improvement in. We don't complain about the game, and we're ruined it. We all the change, we want to see solution is. And the heart and mind is where revolution is. And life and all might is where we show improvement in. Ha! We doing it, yeah, yeah. we doing it. Civil speak change when Soul J's pursuing it. Yeah. We can bring it to your live or we drop it in your trunk. We'll be MP3 and on the West Coast. Uh -huh. See how fresh those MCs can bless though. The rest flow with less glow. Say heck no, y'all can save those club hits with techno. So if they ask, you'll know. Say, said so. So let go of the glitz and glam. Listen to my guard pop over the mic stand. That's right, man. You shouldn't have to listen half the time to these rappers with half the vision, half the rhyme. Cause most of them black. Precision that the mind of Christ that's a trap, so keep that in mind. So you can find me deep space rocking on the beach front, stage underneath sun rays down to teach one. Hands high, give the sun praise out to please one. Ain't the one to complain, to say reach one. We don't complain about the game and what ruins it. We all the change, we want to see solution is. And heart and mind is where revolution is. And life and all might is where we show improvement in. We don't complain about the game and what ruins it. We all the change, we want to see solution is. And the heart and mind is where revolution is. And life and all might is where we show improvement in. The world revolved, no problem solved. Revolution is going nowhere fast. Solution is dash to this thing dissolve. Run fast, the beast pack a revolve. And the mass get gassed by politicians at Chatwell Cause they're empowered by tall towers of Babel hmm. Build a monument and protect it with troops But I was born inside a garden, I get back to my roots Why well, beg for pardons and jump through they hoops For the prostitute, that's just after you loot Her in the B city, both in cahoots They deceive, you believe, though it has no truth Play the role of the sun just to get a fast sun But can't spare funds for widows and orphans Fire in my bones for those from broke homes Love those that carry loads before they Throw stones, lying on the throne, cause Zion is home. All others are lying, defying the dry bones like that. that. We don't complain about the game and what ruins it. We all the change, we want to see solution is. And heart and mind is where revolution is. And life and all might is where we show improvement in. We don't complain about the game and what ruins it. We all the change, we want to see solution is. And the heart and mind is where revolution is. And life and all might is where we show improvement in. Welcome 
to America. Welcome to America. Welcome to America. Welcome to America. Welcome to America. Man, I die for America. I served my time for America. Got shot, shot back, went to war, got back, and ain't nobody give a jack in America. I could have lost my life, why I lost my wife? I can't even get right in my homeland. Cold sweats, whole text, paranoid, looking out for a threat in my own land. I was trained in America. How they get up in the planes in America? Flew right into the buildings, taking out the buildings. People getting killed in America. And I'm still in America. No, America ain't feeling me. I went to war for this country. Turn around, came home, and you drilling me? When y'all free here, saying you don't want to be here. Well, you probably couldn't breathe here if I didn't load a couple magazines here. Y'all just complain in America. I'm jumping out of military planes from America. Hey, I was made in America. That's why I'm out here saving America. I got a brother in the cemetery now because he wanted y'all safe. And everybody wants the freedom, but nobody want to hear about faith. We bled for America to keep y'all fed in America. But what's the point of talking? A lot of y'all don't really even care. America. Welcome to 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 America. I wish I lived in America. Wanna raise my kids in America. Heard everybody rich, all I gotta do is run, jump, kick, I'm a hit in your area. Uh, so please pick me, America. I know you probably never loved me. You never hear about me on the news, and you probably never been to my country. I hear you selling education, and got clothes that you throw away. Got plenty food in your nation. I can tell cause a lot of y'all are away. I already work for y'all. I'm in the sweatshops making these shirts for y'all. Now nah, I ain't getting money. Go to bed hungry. But I make some exports for y'all. But y'all don't know a thing about that. You was made in America. I'm trying to find me a ticket where the sky is the limit. Catch a plane to America. It should be plain to America. Y'all blessing, you got it made. Heard y'all don't pray no more. Y'all ain't say no more. Y'all looking for another way. Well, I hope it ain't true, but I'm packing my suit. Farewell to my motherland. Say bye to my loved ones. Fate, here I come. I'm going to another land. I done made it to America. I'm amazed at America. But I couldn't get approval to stay, so they sent me away the from America. World, the world, the world, the world. Tunes in. Tunes in. Tunes in. To worldtunedradio.com. Oh, <laughs> you can't hear that track without doing that. Ha! Sick of the average. Yeah. Hey, I love that song you had. Heads, that man. Was sweet. Thank you. Thank so, you. Solutionist. Yes. Solutionist. Yeah. How, so who was on that track? That was a tight okay. song. That thank was tight, you. tight. Yeah. Thank you. That song was uh, featuring um, the homie uh, Sivion from a crew called Deep Space Five. Uh-huh. Uh He's out of. Um, H Town, if I'm not mistaken, he's out of, out of Texas. And then uh, H Town, home... nobody says H Town, right? H Town. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to do it for him. Yeah, yeah that's what's up. And then, uh, and then my man, uh, Surreal, he mm-hmm. goes by Surreal. His name is Jeremy, but he goes by Surreal. Um, he's, uh, I think he's from Florida, but he's out here. He's in LA now, but mm-hmm. another really dope uh, uh, MC and, and just a creative person, you know what I mean? So I wanted to have uh, them on it. And uh, the beat was by this cat, Theory Has It. Okay. Yeah. Really dope producer and MC. Do, do you... Um... Do you write your own beats or you create your own beats? Yes. I mean, you play the drums. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, you probably come up with some crazy, mm-hmm. crazy beat. I try. Yes. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I, I do. And I did about, um, I did about four on the on the record here on oh, this album. It? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, is any of the songs that we have we're gonna have your beats on there or not? Let's see. Um, I don't think I picked any of the ones that I oh, did. Okay. All right. Yeah. But right. I did bring the album, so you yeah. can hear. You know, so you'll be able to play it in another any yeah, yeah, any time. Well, how do you find people to collaborate with? How do you find these guys that you did the song with? Um, well, a lot of it comes from just 
you know, years of, of um, just basically putting in a, a lot of work in, in different circles. Mm -hmm. um, this is the result of, I, I was a part of a, a crew called Future Shock for years and years and years, a crew called Future Shock. And we we're in North County uh, doing underground stuff, going down to San Diego, uh, doing this place called the Underground Improv. Mm -hmm. It was an open mic, you oh, know cool. what I mean? So doing stuff there. And then also um, early early, you know, early to mid 90s, we started a, a larger collective of, of, of uh, MCs and producers called the Tunnel Rats. And a lot of the stuff that we did then uh, kind of spread and got out you know, to different, different areas in mm -hmm. the country. And so through that, I started to develop relationships with other MCs and other producers and other cats that were like, hey, I'm a, like your work, blah, 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 blah. And then it would kind of just develop from there. So this album is the result of, uh, you know, meeting and, and starting to work with um, a dude named Braille um, out of Portland and uh, his crew, uh, Lightheaded. And then he started a label uh, called Hip Hop is Music. Uh, the label is no more now, but this was the, the last release that was on that label. And um, and that that's kind of where I, I kind of developed kind everything. Of word of mouth. And yeah, other people. yeah, a lot. A, yeah. a lot of it was word of mouth, and then working with with uh, Braille and other cats. So you'd be good with on this different, song, right? Exactly, and doing a doing a guest feature on this song, and then this goes out, and it gets to you know how however many people that hear it, and then other people hear that, and then you know kind of kind of goes from there. But that's how that's how it happened. That's but also you can you can also say it may have happened because he's won two major MC battles as well. <laughs> <laughs> I want a couple, yeah, 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 yeah. Back in, yeah, I, 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 I put in, put in a little bit of time in the, in the, in the San Diego battle circuit for a minute, uh, a while back, and, and, um, I mean, it's, it's kind of where, it's, if you're an MC, it's one of those things that you just do, you know what uh -huh. I mean? It's not like a, it, it's just something that you do. Um, I mean, I, I would probably still do it now if, if it were a, 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 you know, if I met somebody that, you know, whoa, you, let's battle. Okay, fine. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> is it, it just does it come like riding a bike? Kind of. It's kind of muscle memory. I mean, especially like freestyling. I mean, but if you don't, ooh. <laughs> oh. See that? That's a trigger for me. I'm like, oh, this beat right here. Oh, shoot. I'm about to take off on it. But yeah, it is kind of like riding a bike. You hear, hear a track like this or something, you know, just kind of makes you, you know, take flight on it a little bit. So, yes. So, it, it yeah. That's cool. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I want to hear him beatbox. I don't want to hear him flow. I want I, I mean, as the song okay. came on, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. We can you turn it up. I'll, I'll jump in. All right. I, uh, uh, Ms. Kelly, are you going to? Let's gonna, go. Let me get this. Uh, no, because she's got to record this one. Right? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> she's got to record this one because cool. she's getting all set up. So how do you come up with your lyrics? Where do you, is this uh, life experiences? Uh, other people's life experience mm -hmm. you write about people then they hear your music and like oh I know who he's talking about yeah, there yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes it is like that sometimes it is I mean uh, sometimes it's it's directly from my own life experience mm -hmm. something that I've read a lot of times it's, it's uh, a result of conversations that I have with oh, people really? like solutionist was kind of the result of, a, of a, some conversation with you know cats in my crew that were like you know we either complain about it or be a part of the solution mm -hmm. and that's kind of where you know what I mean? It came from, and we were joking one day. We we're like, "Yeah, we're solutionists." You know what I mean? And I was like, "That actually has a nice ring to it." You know what I mean? I'm like, "I'm, I'll use that." And I just kind of put it off to the side. And then when it was time to work on the record, it was like that kind of came back. So I mean, it, it comes from all over. It could be, you know, like I said, conversations with people, uh, things that happen in my own life, mm -hmm. or things that I see, you know, other people go through. And it's like, okay, that's something that I think everybody could relate to because it's, you know, the human experience. So. So you look, you you examine people a lot, probably. All right, a man who yeah. uh, who can just sit back, kick back, and you think he might be bored sitting on the couch at a party, or, mm -hmm. or he might be bored just sitting at somewhere. But you really just looking around, yeah. knowing exactly yeah. what 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 you're gonna talk about next. Yeah, you deserve it. Uh, oftentimes, yeah, uh, yeah, I, that that's how. I mean, uh, sometimes I'll be the one, you know, out talking to people uh -huh. and mingling or whatever. But if I'm in the cut and I'm just lounging, I'm more more than likely I'm people watching and I'm like just just gathering, you know, getting your information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just watching. Yeah. You that's know? cool. Do you have to go to like a? You have a special spot where you write. Do you have like you know some? Mountain. <laughs> 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 go to the top of the mountain. Shoot, I wish if I had it like that. I would like to go to this mountain here, <laughs> set here, and write I'm with this <laughs> pen only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it, it really it's weird because it happens wherever. Like it used to bug me in school because 
I'd be in class and during the during a lecture, especially in English, mm -hmm. I was that kid who paid attention in English and science. Those were the things. But in English, there would be a concept that the teacher would talk about, and I'd be like, "Oh, what is okay?" And oh. and it would spark something, and I would start writing right there, and it would kind of be distracting. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's literary MC. Yeah, I mean that's that's where Good. a lot of it stems from, and and so it doesn't. Like, I don't have one place that I'll do it. I, I've written on napkins before. Post, uh, you see here, I got to post it with stuff on it. <laughs> you got you know. your notebook there. You always yeah, a wrap book here, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, and then then lately, like, more often than not, it's been in the phone. Like, I started writing raps in the in the notes in the phone, you know? Wow. You know? All right, so I, everybody's heard your battle skills um, out there. They've heard how good you are at flowing, freestyling. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got to get some of this. We got to get some of this out there. Sure. All yeah, right. No Ms. doubt. Catalina, are you ready for this? You gotta start this. You gotta start this. Uh, this uh, instrumental track over again. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a heater. I think right. yes, please. That's that's what I, I like did. it. I I do enjoy that one. <laughs> All right, turn it up. All right, here we go. Here oh, we go. Yes. Okay. One, two. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One, two. Sojourn Mike side right here on the Soul Suite, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I started. Let me take a second look. Closing my rap book. And after the hook, I jump in, start running. Similar to Double Dutch. I hold the microphone inside of a tight clutch. You get a slight rush whenever I bust. Thrust through the mesh of the microphone, and it's nothing less than fresh. I guess you have to listen to the way that I capture you when I rip you rip with rapture that I never wrote down. This is sound that'll leave you smoke now or smitten when I hit you with the non written and non bitten. I'm, I'm Spitting off of the top of the lip and the brain Cats don't understand, they can't contain When I go against the grain Sent to entertain and minister When I'm uh, administer the medication When I come, it's off of the improvisational type of skill Even into the hook at will Scratch to kill Yeah, okay <laughs> And warm up. That's what's up, man. Like I said, mu like I said, man, mu That's muscle awesome. memory. But sometimes it's like when the muscles like. Eh, yeah, That's awesome. Yeah. Thank That's you. That's still yeah. though, man. Yeah, That's thanks. tight, man. Thanks. <laughs> I See, I don't. You know what? I don't even. That's just art to me. I don't understand how. I mean, I don't rap. I, I can play instruments, but that's about it. I can do acting. <laughs> right. <laughs> I could do that stuff. Put a script in front of me. I'll repeat it. Yeah. But. I, it's just how do, how does that come to you? I like think that? I think a lot of it is repetition. Mm -hmm. I mean because um, I mean repetition and practice, and then also it's the the dopest thing about I think freestyling is that it's 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 thought, it's attitude, and it's everything that you've ever like had all in the moment. Like it's nothing else. You know what I mean? Like some people use other premeditated things that they throw in there with it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's like anything right there in the moment just go you know what i mean so that's i mean that's one of the things that's you know that's helped me i mean even in battles it's, it's like using whatever is there right there in the moment so you could pull from like what somebody's wearing or how someone's acting or mm -hmm. anything like that and just put it in try to anyway yeah <laughs> and the, and the thing too for me is like i have the i mean that the thing is you have to be able to ride a track like I come from the school of battling where when you did battle, it was against cats that you didn't know. Like oh, you okay. didn't have okay. the time to prepare for them like you do now. Like you got, you know, weeks and months to prepare for an, for your opponent. Um, and it was over beats. So you had to actually hold the attention of not only the MC that you were facing off with, but the crowd as well. So you had to rock the track and get at the MC yeah. that was in front of you. So, I mean, that that's the other thing too, is it's just rhythm, you know what I mean? Just being able to ride a track, so yeah. Okay, so we're gonna play another one of your songs. Uh, this one's called Craving. Oh, cool, The Craving. Yeah, tell us a little about that. Okay, so being the whole literary, that whole literary um, angle, I like to write about writing, <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> a lot of that, a lot, that's what a lot of the, this, this tune is from, and it, it comes from like the things that are going through my mind when I'm writing or the things that kind of jump out at me or inspire me when I'm writing. And, and it is all it's all about the the craving to create like you know sometimes I'll try to write about something else but it always kind of comes back to this this is a, this a, a theme you know creating about creating the craving the craving here we go soul sweet marks well introduce this song to everybody out there this song is called the craving produced by my man dirt out of LA check it out lyricism 
time, time, time and time again, I find myself converging with an urgent side of me that's urgent. The kind that be searching for words that incite me to take flight on a thought through indigo skies and watch the world through the view of a bird's eye and glide through the atmosphere at heights and speeds only imagine. <laughs> Only you haven't managed lift off. The only thing my talents are grabbing are what? Plates of wax and tapes and CDs and stacks and hopes to find some underground. Soul gold in this cold mind. This whole time, time seems to move like no time and slow mo at the same time. It puts me in the frame of mind to frame a rhyme to change your mind and paint colorful word images to hang up in your frame of reference. Freshness, humanity. We all desire what gets us fired up. Some of us buy it up in mass quantities. It's the crazy. The crazy engrave my name inside of the pavement. Humanity. We all desire what gets us fired up. Some of us buy it up in mass quantities. It's the crazy. The crazy engrave my name inside of the pavement. Oh, it's a bit difficult to get a record written with a new responsibility of fatherhood, but I got it good with my wife and son for a new start. And more of a reason than ever to speak from the heart making my mark as a man learning to handle the sometimes challenging balancing act managing my minutes with sacrifice to both sides cuz I refuse to lose one for the other now call me stubborn I stay plugging away to give that rugged display to reroute your course to a sudden decay there wasn't a day that whackness went by unnoticed it really helped me refine my focus on the hopeless I'm targeting the marketplace of ideas Sparking your ears with inspiration. I'm irate because poisonous lies permeate the hearts of men. Death is not the end. I repeat, death is not the end. Who you trust determines how you start again. Humanity. We all desire what gets us fired up. Some of us buy it up in mass quantities. It's the crazy. The crazy the engraved my name inside of the pavement. Humanity. We all desire what gets us fired up. Some of us buy it up in mass quantities. It's the crazy. To engrave my name inside of the pavement. Humanity, we all desire what gets us fired up. Some of us buy it up in mass quantities. <laughs> I want to see the light of day, so I, so I write the night away and pray for his peace to be enough with the release of this master's peace of my mind. I'm the gasp of air after the baptism, grasping for the wearing win of eternity in an audio infirmary. The sound is sick, yet supplies the cure. I'm a student of the life that spoke the words, learn of me and endure till the end. It's essential through the temporal pain and incidentals and strain upon the mental. The aim is fundamental. The change is monumental and strange to that of a natural mind. Of a natural mind. <laughs> yet, yet it's well within range <laughs> and the powers in you. Yet it's well within range and the powers in you. So what humanity, we all desire what gets us fired up. Some of us buy it up in mass quantities. It's the craving. It's the craving. To engrave my name inside of the pavement. Humanity, we all desire what gets us fired up. Some of us buy it up in mass quantities. It's the crazy. I, 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 I crave to engrave my name inside of the pavement. Judge yelled for order, court reporter making her words shorter. His lawyer sat next 
to him. She could see how the trial was affecting him. It hurt for her eyes to connect with him. Using her lies for protecting him. They arrested him for murder and gun possession. As they read back her confession, she screamed. Got the verdict from the bailiff, emotional outburst, tears and smear makeup. It stated he was guilty on all charges. She's shaking, looking like she took it the hardest. A spin artist, she brought her face up laughing. That's when the prosecutor realized what happened. All that speaking of mind, testifying and crying. When this bitch did the crime, the queen pin. on and connected it makes yeah, it to where the world tunes in yo yo always keeping it hot right here this is your worldtunedradio.com you listen to so sweet marks the well gorgeous beautiful this catalina sojourn in hey, the building. hey 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 what's good people the craven i mean I, it, it's so tight i mean your, your your flow is good your sound is good you sound like You've been doing this for a yeah, while. Yeah, really no, but me, it's mm-hmm. like he's perfected right, his crap. Right. He's like, and then I wanna, I wanna compare you to honestly to KRS One and to Common. Common. I mean, oh wow, it's funny oh. to uh, that you played that next, but I know. honestly, See, I, I couldn't tell. I, on, I was gonna say I couldn't nice. tell the difference between Common well, and I liked him better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <Uh-oh. laughs> well, thank Common, you. Common's thank friend. you. <laughs> <laughs> But how, what do you can, where do you attest to your, your, all this talent from? I mean, you, do you compare yourself to any of these artists or do you try to be like any of these artists? Or are you just you? I, I think a lot of it is, is getting the influences from these artists. Mm-hmm. And I mean, a, for sure, I mean, KRS for sure. I don't know an MC, a real hip hop artist that he hasn't influenced. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's kind of like Nas. You know what I mean? If you came up during a certain time, you had to hear their yeah, stuff yeah, exactly and you had to be at some, on some level either intrigued or amazed or whatever the case but you had to be influenced by these cats so it, the fact that you can hear that and that it's a good thing not like a bite that's dope you know what i mean like i i but i mean i try i try to just write from just an honest place of just what i see and what i you know what i think up or whatever um but as far as like the delivery and everything i mean that's just playing with with timing and rhythm and like on the craving i'm i'm each on each verse it's like i paused you know at a specific place in each bar like you know and and that was and that's the there's a there's an og version of the craving yeah that dirt won't let anybody hear but (laughs) because it was just it was an older version when we first started the record but that version of it had more it had different pianos Uh and the way that the loop went it made me think of stopping every few bars. Okay. So that's what I started doing, and I was like, "This is a dope style." So I just went with it, like the whole, the whole like song, uh-huh. and so that's what that's what it ended up being. So that's one of those things. that's like, you know, trying to become, you know, m- one of the instruments in the song. You know what I mean? And that's the thing is like, I want to be a counter instrument or something that sticks out in the beat that you know makes you want to listen to the tune. So, yeah. So you were talking about uh, growing up with art, different artists. Who are some of the people that you you look for or look look up to? Or uh... um, look up to in, in terms of like in, in terms of hip hop. Hip hop, yes. Uh, definitely KRS One for sure. Um, played a big part in a lot of my development. You know, just coming up, just looking at different MCs who had not only skills but they had um, intellect uh-huh. and they had power behind them. Rock him. Oh yeah, no question. Rock him. Um, uh shoot um a lot of a lot of early cats around or around that time i mean i even loved of course you know nice and smooth you know what i mean uh i was a i was a kid who loved gangstar you know mm-hmm. what i mean still do um you know and, and then and then a, a huge huge um 
influence like later was a uh, uh, freestyle fellowship their okay. crew out of la um they started a, a a whole new you know um group of styles i would say you know what i mean um de la soul is one of my favorite you know groups in hip-hop of all time you know what i mean uh love common it's funny that you play common right after that that was like that's cool you know yeah common too you know what i mean so you know cats like that 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 aren't afraid to put themselves into their music and then also aren't afraid to be creative and kind of go outside of stuff you know what i mean so over the years of, of being involved in hip-hop do you think it's changed do you think i mean you can obviously see the the change in the style of talk or the style of 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 um of beats and mm -hmm. and and rhythm and the way it's delivered yeah. but as far as just the art of hip-hop do you think that's changed i think i think some of the approach has I, I think for for people that i think for the originators and i think for a lot of the people that are still doing it that have you know a more of a um a kind of a, a leadership or out front voice mm -hmm. that it hasn't changed for them you know what i mean and likewise for me i think the only thing that's really changed is the landscape the industry you know what i mean the approach that you take to quote unquote getting on you know what i mean now a lot of stuff is a lot of stuff is online and it's viral or if you can get you know the most hits on your video or whatever um you know but the art itself and the and the attention to the craft maybe generationally it may have changed because a lot of kids a lot of the younger kids coming up now they don't have well, I won't say they don't, because I, I mean, I can only speak for a few that I do know or whatever, but they're, they're, the approach is different. Uh -huh. So they're, they're, the outlook on the craft is different. And the end goal oftentimes is different. You know what I mean? We we wanted, and I still do to some extent, is is just other than self-expression, I just want the, the respect of my peers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The other cats that do it at a real high level to be able to go, oh, that cat Sojourn, he's he's real too he's ill too you know what i mean that cat is one of the dudes you know what i mean that excuse me that's one of the reasons or one of the one of the end goals i guess you know what i mean other than influencing it for the positive you know the people that listen to me do you think social media has changed that a lot i mean because anyone yeah. can put something out yeah anyone can put yep. something out definitely definitely and that's both good and bad i mean back in the day you had to you had to uh you had to pay some dues before you could get some studio time. Yeah. You had to pay some dues before you could get behind a mic to say what you had to say. Nowadays, it isn't. I mean, it's made. It's a lot more affordable. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Cats could get, just record in their bedroom, hall closet or whatever. And then putting stuff out is a whole lot easier now as well. So, I mean, there used to be this mechanism of like quality control. Mm -hmm. There used to be a line or a bar or a kind of a barrier that you had to go through to say, okay, this is good enough to release and get out to the public or whatever. Now it's not like that anymore. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's part of the one, that's part of the thing that's, you know, kind of, I would say for the, for the worse, mm -hmm. but I mean, it also makes it so people could kind of, I hope more easily tell like what's actually good, good. good. Yeah. versus just noise or whatever, you know, everything else. Do you think everyone in, uh, the industry and uh hip hop and has to learn uh that craft of even mastering their 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 technique or mastering their music mastering their seeds you know people just like you said just put things out yeah they just put just, it out yeah raw stuff that you just wondering okay wait wait you're not was getting, anybody not in the studio with you <laughs> I, I, like me and my wife we joke we're like you're not making the point that you think you are with that you know what I'm saying it's not quite doing what you think it is no i think i think yeah i i think that I think that that should be a prerequisite. I think that should be a requirement. Like if you call yourself an MC or if you are a rapper or if you are a poet or whatever, you should have a command of the English language that enables you to communicate. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not saying a whole lot, just still be able to say it, you know what I mean? And be able to to, to translate those thoughts or those ideas or whatever um, in some way that's somewhat pleasing to the ear. You know what I mean? I, I would think that there should, I do think that there should there there should be some level of um, mastery that you should get to, or some level of proficiency that you should get to before you are able to just throw stuff out. Do you think that uh, a lot of it is commercialized now? I mean, because honestly, I I, I want to say Common has been in the game for a long time. Yeah, yeah. But he's still on top. I mean, yeah. 
he he knows how to market himself. He has the mm-hmm. right people. Yeah. But he's he's created a foundation that is so strong, it's unbreakable. Right. Yeah, for sure. So do you think the people that are coming up are the people who are still in the game mm-hmm. that just knew how to how to take care of themselves, how to market themselves? Are are there are there again their foundation is that strong that it's just unbreakable? I think uh, yeah. I think a lot of it I think a lot of it is that the era that they came up in, they had to be built for it. And they had to uh they had to go through certain things to get where they were so that by the time they are able to enjoy some commercial success like a common mm-hmm. He's been through enough of the industry to know, okay, I want to do this. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to make my money doing movies Mm -hmm. so that when I do put out a record, I could do whatever the heck I want. And, you know, I'm going to get Kanye to produce some. I'm going to get No ID to produce some. Boom. And then just put it out. You know what I mean? You got these smart guys. You got Jay-Z. You got Common who... They're not getting in trouble. Right. They're not getting arrested. They're right. not getting themselves shot. So it's a whole different. Well, and, but they also are. They have the money. They've 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 they're put stuff. Men. They're businessmen. Yeah. 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 yeah and sure. and and as a businessman, they know how to to, to release things, market themselves at the right yeah. times, and, and do doesn't all that. Put stuff. a lot of music out. I mean, he no. he holds back for a long time. Mm-hmm. Some people put music yeah. out all the time Drake. Yeah. Drake. <laughs> yeah. it's like every time i turn around drake yeah. but drake but he's hot right now he's i mean right. everybody's I know, got him right now but i mean you can ride the wave so yeah. long and you can afford to do that if you have the the if you're prolific enough to to meet that demand you know what i mean but if you're it just kind of becomes pop you know yeah 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 for sure uh, i mean so I, yeah exactly and, and on some level it is commercialized but i think that all things kind of they were going that way anyway mm-hmm. i think that it is just a matter of the the people who wanted to be true to the art are going to stay true to the art no matter what you know uh commercial success comes or doesn't it may not always you know what be I mean? what these drakes and rihannas are doing right the exactly money that they make because it's underground it's not going to be heard we like to play a lot of underground music here Yay. 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 <laughs> Thank you. But I mean, I, I find that's where the real talent is. Yeah. yeah. I Definitely. mean, a lot of people can um uh can can rap. A lot of people can just 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 again just say what's on their yeah. mind. But when you have something in your soul like you have in your music, you can feel it. You can really feel it. Word. So it's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. Interesting. Very. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, what up? I appreciate the platform. <laughs> I want to hear some beatboxing. Uh, I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> so how, when you start beatboxing, you were back in the day when you were, mm-hmm. um, when everybody was doing that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, the biggest influence, Fat Boys, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Fat Dougie Boy. Fresh, you oh, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. so these are cats, like I learned Biz Marquee, you know what I mean? These were all like beatbox idols and stuff. And then. Like Michael Winslow when he came out with like the Police Academy uh, movies and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was. I thought that was like <laughs> that was, that was it. I, watching him walk down, <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that was as big to me as like a, a dope line for me because yeah. it was like you're making that without anything else. Like that's just you. Yeah, so, yeah. So Biz Marquis. Yeah. He uh, even to this day, I remember when he was. Um, I'm sorry, he was on. Uh, he was DJing for. Um, what Def Comedy Jam was mm-hmm. it? Uh, he, and he went on stage and and did his thing. Mm-hmm. It's that. It's yeah. like wow. Yeah. Still. <laughs> yeah. Still. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, like you think, like dude came out. That was like '86 back in the day, mm-hmm. and then like he really hit in '88, and you're like, still for him to come out now and do that, and people are still like, oh, you know, it's, you know. Have you ever made a track with nothing but beatbox? Meaning you rap over it. But the full beat comes from like you know how box. have you ever you, seen yeah. you know seen on YouTube where a guy yeah. has the instrument and he can create all his music right, 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 just right, right, by right, that one yeah that. yeah, that yeah. so have you ever done that with beatboxing yes um, a couple times um, on some things that I didn't bring with me today but excuse me we did my crew Future Shock we had a, a on one of our tapes. Take it back to the tapes. I would do this thing where I would do like a kind of a, a medley of mm-hmm. beats, but they will all be popular ones that were out kind of at the time that people would kind of know. And we would put this thing out like, oh, if you can guess all the beats that I did, then, <laughs> you know, you get this or whatever. So, I, yeah, I did that. And then on this album, on the So Journalism album, I do have a, a, a song on here called Human Resources. Okay. 
and that is a, a song where I feature my man Big Wreck out of uh, Atlanta, mm -hmm. and he is a beast on the mic, like bars like you would not believe. Pays attention to rhythm patterns and, and, and what you say as much as how you say everything. So we did a song. We're actually going to do like a kind of a series of things called Human Resources, and I was the beatbox for it, and he rhymed over go. it, oh, that's and it was cool. that was it. And then on his record, we were going to do a part two where he beatboxed and I rhymed over it. So that was kind of the the idea, or whatever. But yes, there, there, and I think there's probably going to be more to come like that, just because it's not what you normally hear. It's you know? not, but you can create. The, mm -hmm. however you want it yeah you know your mind is twisted yeah because it's it, sometimes it's hard to find a beat if you I mean, my brother has a drum machine and does all yeah. this stuff and i mean he's a producer and he can make the beats that he wants to make right. but when you're beatboxing you can you can do some some you're your own instrument twist and yeah. turn yeah. yeah and do your own thing just uh -huh. i mean good. yeah i mean look at timberland like yeah. one of the beats that we still remember from him was Aaliyah's are you that somebody yes. yeah and you remember and you're like what and he had the, the baby sound in there and then yeah. you, you knew he was beatboxing part of it mm -hmm. you know what i mean that was that was so crazy i mean like that's that's something i i do in my little beatbox routines now just because it's like oh shoot brought it back you know what i mean so yeah it, it, when you're on stage performing uh does everyone get to to hear your beatboxing at that time or is that just a special thing at different times you just do it that's kind of just um, different times. So I'll just okay. do it. You know, I, I don't have a planned part of it that I do in, in every set, but I have done it before. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I've done like some things where it's been like actual talent shows where I'll go and I'll enter just as a beatbox ah, okay. and nothing else. And I'll just go and I'll just do a little beatbox set. You probably have the people what... going crazy. And that's cool because they're not expecting it. You uh, know what I mean? It's like, oh, vocal percussionist. OK, cool. What is it? And then it's, you know, beats. You know what I mean? And I, I try to mimic songs so people go, oh, yeah. We had one person at one of our events, the, uh, the San Diego Entertainment Industry Mixer at the House of Blues, mm. um, uh, and he played the saxophone and the keys. Oh, but yeah. he started out just making one beat yeah. with his with his um, uh, his his drum machine, mm -hmm. yeah. and then he stopped that, recorded that, that added the the piano keys in it, made a new all all of a sudden just all right there, just created it. Oh, right looped there. it. Um, yeah, looped yeah. So, looped oh, that's it. dope. And then yeah. and then and then made a whole song and then start playing to the saxophone with it and it just it just tore it up that's just crazy tore it up. that's crazy yeah. tore it. you know also he would he would be good to to to, to rap with our beatbox with what's that the, the drum line oh god that was great yeah we that, had these kids um jackie robinson YMCA. jackie robinson ymca oh okay the drum line. kids uh -huh. they're, they're like the grambling style, style yeah. southern oh, drum line they were so oh. good that little <laughs> like five-year-old it, killing it yeah yeah you gotta check that out yeah I mean, we if definitely you guys like could do that. something together they were at one of our events one time and and they did a great job and we put them with brandon primus the saxophone player as well and uh it was it was really really good but now nah, we got to off the streets were come, trying to get in yeah, yeah that's what's up that yeah that's the kind of talent yeah exactly there's a lot of talent here in san diego mm -hmm. i mean yeah. a, but a lot of it goes unrecognized because honestly and i'm I'll, i guess i'm gonna ask you this later on is how do you think the market here in san diego is when it comes to hip-hop music anything like that so just think about that real Ooh, quick don't say good it because, question. Good because question. i honestly yeah. i know my opinion mm -hmm. after being in the industry and trying to create things here right 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 but i'd like to know somebody who's actually involved completely into yeah. the the system up in here so we want to hear some beatbox right yep oh okay. word okay yeah all right <clears throat> do we need to do we we, we don't need, need no music need right nothing. I don't need nothing. yeah pretty much I, I'm, I'm okay all right let me, so let me get ready for it <laughs> all right <laughs> he's got worms all right he, he got a warm resistor for that <laughs> all right cool all right all right wow. we just go, just go. Oh, okay. There you go. Doom, boom, boom, boom. The 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 boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom,
boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom. Cause I really need somebody. Tell me how that's somebody. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Much more power Table a little bit. <laughs> That's no, up, man. Trying to, yeah, I was trying to remember like joints that I would do in the in the beatbox routine, and those yeah. are those are some of them. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the tribe called quest, check the rhyme thing. You know what I mean? The old audio tube, go oh, pro You know yeah. what I mean? And then the and then of course like the one we were talking about with the with the Timberland. You know what I mean? Yeah. That Aaliyah, tell me, are you that somebody? That's yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And it even got the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Very talented, man. Thank you. Very Thank you. talented. Thank you. Very talented. Wow. That's, I'm, 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 I mean, I always get stunned. And I, I mean, I have an artist over here who's just like, <laughs> just tearing things up. And again, just so humble and, 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 and cool. So that's, that's tight, man. Laura, right. Thank that's you. That's really tight. Thank so you. So my question to you, and I know I was just jumping right in there again, the, the scene in the music scene mm -hmm. in uh, San Diego. Yeah. I want to say. What do you think of it? Let me just put it like that. What do you think of it? I think, I think on a, on a whole, like you said earlier, we have a whole lot of talent in San Diego. And I think that once we are able to kind of unify behind different movements, then I think that will be taken more seriously. I think because we have a ton of talent in the, in the city. Um, I think it's somewhat fragmented a little bit because it's different different camps and different like styles that may you know may or may not necessarily like you know click with each other or whatever but i mean it, it's like anywhere else man we have a we have a gang of talent but it's like you know the our, our breakout kind of star at least you know from san diego that we you know know of, I mean that that's still doing stuff is like you know the jail felony, you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. we, you know, um, I mean, but there's there's tons of others, but it's like you gotta have to move out of the city We're and do Atlanta. things. We're not Atlanta. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have to move out. You do, and that's, then I mean, get that's some how love. Nick Cannon did it too. I mean, exactly, I mean. exactly. Anybody, anybody who's kind of got a, a bigger industry like name or whatever, they if they were from here they moved out mm -hmm. and then they were then we wanted to claim them again yeah. then it was like yo yeah they they from they from san diego and then it was like oh yeah exactly but i mean i think that i think in different pockets because i've been a part of different uh regions and during you know through the years i was in north park for a while so i, I got to be in the open mic circles around there you know what i mean to see like the, the different underground stuff move happening down there and then up here in the north county you know there have been different uh periods of where there was a lot of stuff happening i was a part of a of a of a, an event called lyrical schoolyard for mm -hmm. a few years where we got like a lot of local cats to open and then a national act you know, at wow. one point, yeah, it was, it was, you know, so I, I try to be a part of something that is happening in the scene to kind of bring new cats in and as well as give, you know, give them a platform as well as, you know, um, you know, just promote, you know, promote the, the culture and the art. Um, one of the things I was going to try to bring up too was, um, there's a there's a, an event called the underground embassy okay and it actually happens here in the north county in uh encinitas of all places so encinitas? yeah i know right yeah for real <laughs> i was like word okay dope um any black folks out there yeah I, surprisingly yes wow. yet you might find you will find a few there i'll probably be one of them of course i'm just i'm just throwing that out there but <laughs> but yeah this place called the mr peabody's they they have this thing like every uh i want to say third friday of the mm -hmm. month but it's called the underground embassy and the next one is happening uh uh friday the 19th 
Okay. And this was there's a crew called DSR, and they're trying to you know put their put North County on the map. So they're doing this tour, like they're starting to do a tour thing. And this is the show is a, like a kind of a fundraiser. But they're having these uh, a bunch of cats are having this dude Capital I. He was from the Capital I man. He used to be from a crew called the Mexicans. Um, <laughs> and then there's uh, and then a bunch of other um, cats from our area. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Nat Z, myself, uh, Kali, uh, who's out of L.A. but lives down here now. Uh, DSR and his cat Karma of uh, P.O.R. Uh, the homie Will Spliff is going to do a live beat set. Um, and then the homie Billy No Jokes is hosting it. And uh, DJ Special Cuts is on the ones and twos. But this is this is something that, you know, I'm a part of. Mm-hmm. They asked me to be a part of it, but I, I was always behind it because mm-hmm. it was like, that's that's what we want. You know, what I mean? we want something in the area that gives you know, uh, a platform to the other, to other artists. And then also shows us in a positive light, but it, and, it, and it's in a, in a area, like it's like Encinitas. It's right. not, that's not where right. you would find this. No, exactly. No, no. Yeah. you typically, you would not like when we were doing the lyrical schoolyard, it was in Carlsbad and people were like, where Carlsbad? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Carlsbad, Boris Crossing. And it was, but it was oh, dope right, yeah. Yeah, and it was, it, and it worked, you know what I mean? Because of the, that where it was, People came to it because yeah. it was, you know what I mean? It was the only thing happening, and it was like, it was something that was getting shown in a positive light. And it was acts that people were like, yo, I want to go see, you know, I want to see J. Rue the Damager, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to go see Pharaoh Mach, mm-hmm. Elzai, you know what I mean? So that that's the kind of thing that, that and that's why, I, that's why I, you ask me that question now. But if you ask me that question probably, I don't know, six months ago, I would have had a different answer just because... It, it, it changes because mm-hmm. different people will come up in the scene and they'll be like, yo, we need to unify and do this. Yeah. And then people will get behind it. And then you all of a sudden you'll have something beautiful come out of it. That's like, yo, why wasn't this here the whole time? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it, it changes and it varies. But I mean, I think overall, when we unify behind, you know, certain movements, there's another thing that happens called the cypher in the park that goes down by, you know, Cesar Chavez, uh, park i believe so and that pops off you know what i mean and a a bunch of heads that i know other mcs all go to it and then there's beat makers that go and they play stuff and it's that kind of thing is what i think keeps keeps things alive and keeps it vibrant so it's there it's just like i said it's fragmented it's just in different spots It, it it to me it seems like there's and i'm talking more of the on the club side and things that you don't have too many hip hop clubs anymore oh, yeah. no you yeah. everything's edm yeah which is fine yeah. i mean I, I mean there's there's a lot of good stuff out there right i mean because i'm like all genres of music i can i can i can i can mix and match them all yeah so but i i find that everyone's about making that money you know what i yeah. mean yeah and when you work with different clubs around here and different different places um if you don't if if they they don't want a certain crowd there sometimes mm-hmm. i guess you could say yeah are they assume that that crowd's gonna be rowdy are you gonna have something's gonna pop off right. or something like that or it's not gonna make any money or it's not gonna make any money yeah I mean, that's the assumption we, and it, so it's hard to bring people together yeah and then when you do like in our in our, our mixers that we used to do everybody's all cool everybody's great mm-hmm. and but then sometimes you'll have somebody who's like oh my crew's better than your crew my no right. no we're, we're trying to help you each other to, to put yeah. that up real quickly i mean yeah. right everybody climbed that ladder together right you know what i mean exactly and when you exactly. try to put those things together and those movements happen yeah they can happen for a period of time and they can be strong and keep moving mm-hmm. forward yeah um and it can be really good. It can yeah. be really good. Just like this one that you're talking about. At, yeah. At, in Encinitas. It's kind of hard to believe it's in Encinitas. Everybody lock their doors when they come in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. You yeah. are wrong. Ouch. Hey, I'll be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but... See, that's what's up. Yeah, Friday the June 19th uh, is, is going down. The Underground Embassy is is going down. It's going to be a lot of live live hip hop there. And, and cats are really... That, that care about it still are, are doing it. You know what I mean? That's cool. Yeah. That's going to be good. Yeah, I'm going to go. It's going to be good. Yeah. All right. So you're going to have to give that information out again right before we get we go off air. Yes, sir. But uh, yeah. And then if you send it so we can post it on our on our site and everything. Oh, like, that'd wow. be good. Most definitely. That'd be good. It's a fundraiser. What does it go for? Um, It's for this group called the DSR. And they're mm-hmm. they're trying to raise money to go on tour, basically. Oh, cool. So they can, right. Yeah. So that's Support what, your artists, man. Yeah. That's, that's what you got to do. Yeah. Like Kickstarter. It's exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's a live Kickstarter. I'd rather that I'd than rather Kickstarter. That. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Because you know it's going directly to them, yeah. and they uh-huh. they putting that right in the tour bus to hit the hit oh, the road. Good. That's that's what they're doing it for. Yeah, that's cool. I yeah. That. All right, so we're gonna hit you. We're gonna hit you with another one of uh, another one of Sojourn's uh, songs. Uh, I have 
basement boogie. Ooh, yeah. This is some new stuff. Um, I, I wanted to bring y'all some new stuff, some new exclusive exclusives. <laughs> so <laughs> try to hit y'all off with some. Here on World some, Tune Radio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> World Tune Radio exclusive basement boogie sojourn featuring Razkaz. Featuring Razkaz. That's right. All, right. All right, there we go. Yes, sir. Open the door, greetings from the gutter. Gully, grand, godly, gorgeous, and beautifully ugly. Simultaneously winding to the baseline and beat the time. Keep the season all some move gracefully while others fall out of the pocket. Sloppily slurred steps, speak volumes, telling us to get down. It's crept into the crowd's collective consciousness. Nobody's anonymous or even autonomous. Is it too deep yet? Well, then respond to this. Hands up. It's just a random command so that you can handle the jam. Because I figure, man, if you can't, then what's the use of the music if you never can understand it? I'll meet you halfway. So if you listen and think while the music bumps, there's no excuse in these last days. <laughs> While I rock for your lives It's a call and response So whatever your replies Be they yes, yes, yours Or tears falling from your eyes Hands to the skies Get them waving in agreement With the way that I'm unseeing What I'm saying's for a reason Steadily slaying while you're grieving Thus I'm staying and believing These days are deceiving So I'm taking a knee And I'm praying for freedom, y'all All walks of life take strides toward Altered states of being But being human beings get halted When we falter at the altar Of self-sacrifice Minus the risk shaving It's a blind bravery When we will Willfully and skillfully build the change to our own slavery. There's an irony to self captivation, so I bang bars to the break to bring y'all liberation. <laughs> You my last, so you can holler at me still. 
PMC and the place to be. On the MIC, still spitting that real. Yo, you know the limericks are limitless, not limited in sentiment, but increments of infinite potential in the scenes. You can benefit from getting off of the internet for just a minute. It's a simple song you can sing on oh, Memorex. Uh, I meant mimic it when it hits the spirit, it pulls the hard strings. Infamous and kindred, it's intrinsic when it's still in us from the genesis. When we remember to dream, just dream. dream. My determination runs every aspect mentally. I'm no dummy. Scholar got skill. Yeah. Can't take what I visualize from it. You pull the wool over my eyes. I swallowed the red pill. Yeah. Even if eyes broke as fuck, I would lend you my last. You can holler at me still. Everybody put your paws in the clouds. Get them up in the sky. So it's not a problem to feel. Welcome to the age of Aquarius and the stages of various schemes. But curiously, I escape when I dream. Each scene should win an academy. Put it up on the screen. My strategy pharaohs the king of queens. Who fiends for teens to view it as the new theme music. Use it to shape their futures when they daydream to it. Never elusive, never claim stupid. Loose it, boost your acoustics when you sing to it. And just dream. You know I'm downright excellent about my skill to get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. I got you strung out on the music, so I'm sorta like a dealer to a junkie. Swallow that pill, y'all. Sometimes it rains in Southern Cali and Philadelphia ain't always sunny. Just keeping it real, y'all. Tell it quality and the place to be. Yeah, you better believe. You might let it know the deal, y'all. Yeah. Five o'clock in the morning, just getting home from last night's performance. When I'm dead tired from touring, I hit the coffin. I'm like a vampire required to stay dormant. Out of the range of sunlight, where the data remain. I used to smoke so much weed that it cloud in my brain. I took a break, had to find life's meaning to get. Without the smoke in my lungs, I started dreaming again. I dreamed of candy coated cars and panties that go with bras. Hurricanes named Sandy and Flip on the Noah's Ark. What? Police will bleed blue because they staying true to the uniform. And Dennis Rodman in North Korea looking for unicorns. The truth is, I'm one of the best, and when you snooze, that's when you meet the cousin of death. So when I say I never visit the cousin, I don't sleep. I stay awake to the ways of the world, cause shit is deep. Dream. Around the world and what's the cost? You don't know De La Soul is dropping that ass. Yo, yo, turn the ball, don't pick up. De La Soul, yo, yo, turn the ball, don't pick up. De La Soul, yo, yo, uh-uh, yo, 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 touch up, touch up, touch up, hey, yo, 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 yo. I'm not rehearsed the world burst in politics to set. I just say what I mean, so you know what I mean. Keep an eye on Squint. I'm like Clint. I'm from the East. Would you at least acknowledge the print? Can't follow me, dog. I'm from the office of NY. My cubicle's L.I. Home of the infamous ice teas and sellies that roam. But play the DL in an ATL. Get the pee for free when in D.C. The ladies love me, for sure. Peaceful types of thugs bug me for more. Increase manufacturing and fracturing your next capture and the check stature brings your... I roll with spice every time we up for cooking. Gourmet fake, your plate stays booking. But hey, they steady looking in all jaws wide. If they know you ain't different, believe me, they all lie. Swallow your pride, call your peeps, they speak like all. Oh, they there again, nigga, your love for us soon come like gray hair. Don't be a part of the problem we solve and play like a dog and sit, ooh, sit, stay there. Now you're so dead as well, let me rock it now your mouth. With the lyrical flow, forget to know how to control. Technically, we are set them to soul. Tell all the words to a big bad and bold. Yo, dead as well, let me rock it now your mouth. 
back in your mouth. With the lyrical flow, we get to know out of control. Technically, we are get them to school. Della Della, Della Della. Hey, yo, I'm aiming for this paper, put my struggles on fry Fry battle for baby girl and put her on a diet Let rise from Times Square to time there Hustle y'all get money, pay high rent Spent one-tenth of my life from time bent back Like yoga poses, I've acquired my win Invited again for the cheap choke, the three spoke Had me thinking, Papa, since the top of the block Mock town, we rock, mock next to just rock This is federal rap and your mic can get tapped Fifteen bidding on eBay, the menage is next Since the two ways been overexposed Rap. Ain't nothing but advertise hoes. We get checks, but we need to get checked. Put the brand X cereal for the C-span. The cereal is new to me. How we usually broke, poke fun at it. Hope we wrote none. Have it pulling out like we ain't ship the condom. Ship the condom, zipping the condom. Laying down with God, it's gon' rip the condom. Yeah, so tell us to all them a your mouth. Yeah, we deliver cash flow for getting the out of control. Technically, we a get them to soul. All who know say we big bad and bold. Della soul, them a ripping on your mold. Yeah. With the lyrical flow, we get to the out of control. Technically, we a get them to soul. Della, 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 Della. Now you say Della soul, them a rocking on your mold. Yeah. With the lyrical flow, we get to the out of control. Technically, we a get them to soul. Boom. All who know say we big bad and bold. Della, Della soul, them a ripping on your mold. Yeah. With the lyrical flow, we get to the out of control. Technically, we a get them to soul. Della, 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 Della. Tunedintoworldtunedradio.com Where the world tunes in. You listen to So Sweet. Uh. This is Catalina. Yeah. I gotta tell you, you know what? You're the blackest white girl I've ever seen in my life. Killing it today. <laughs> She's throwing the hits on, dude. She is, she's man. killing right now. She she's, is. She's throwing. She's... Dude, I told her Dayla was one of my favorite crews, uh, and then she finds like this B side, like just obscure. oh. I know. I remember this song. Like I yeah, I remember when it came out, and I was like, Sean Paul De La Soul yeah. over Dilla. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. That song. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then that song chopped up. Like you yeah, said, every song is in that thing right yes. there. That, yeah, he killed that. Chopped up the genius of love dream, thing. Dream. Dream. Yeah. And then the dream one before that. Woo. Yes. Yeah. That's what's up. And then your song. Yeah, your song. Oh, thank man. You. Tore thank it you. up. Thank you. Tore it up. Well, I, I mean, you. what was it called? Basement. Yeah, Basement Boogie. And that was that was a tune where uh, part of that song came from something that was real. Like it happened, but it was oh. also like me observing what was going on and then you know, kind of throwing my own little stuff into it as well. We used to do a thing at the uh, Cabo Grill a while back, and we used to call it the Boom Bap Basement. It oh, was there me, you go. yeah. It was me and DJ Kid Riz, and that was our that was our thing. Me, him, and then and DJ Charlie Rock later. And we we that's that's the crew that kind of started the lyrical schoolyard thing. But we started at the Cabo Grill, the Boom Bap Basement, and that's where that kind of started from. I started you know writing about that. So how do you keep your longevity in the hip hop world? I mean, cause you got it. You've be, I mean, you got that longevity. Man, I don't even. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I think. I think it, for you to be considered having longevity, you have to still love doing it. You mm. know what I mean? And even now, I mean, I, I mean, I I love doing it. I don't do it for, you know, to kind of get on per se. Cause that's. I mean, when I was 15, that would have been different. You know what I mean? That was a that was a different question or whatever. But now it's like I do it because I love it, and you know. I'll, I'll do it just to trip out the homies and send them send them some new stuff and be like, yo, what's this? You know what I mean? So it, it's it's a different thing. But I, I say to have longevity, you have to be one. You have to be good, <laughs> but you have to love doing it. And and if you love doing it, you're going to continue to at no, at no matter what level it is. Because, I mean, obviously, I, I don't have any delusions of, of grandeur. Nobody like the world doesn't know who Sojourn is, even though I'm on World Tune Radio right now. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, in overall, you know what I mean? Like, people don't, they don't know, 
You know what I mean? They, it's not, I'm not a household name and I'm not trying to be. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I love what I do and I want to be able to whoever hears it. I want to be able to say, hey, here's some here's some positive stuff. You know, if you had the opportunity to be a household name, would you want that? Why not? Well, I'm, it changes yeah, things. Remember good, last that's week, a, we asked the same thing. That's a good <laughs> question. That's a good question. I mean, would that I mean, would, would that it, also translate to being able to take care of my family mm -hmm. with it as well? Because if that if it would, then yes. If that if that's along with it, if that's coupled with it, yes. But in a positive light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do yeah, you yeah. do you think that um, that would change your your music in any way? Because a lot of times you don't have all the says that you want to have when it comes. When to your you're own. that yeah, when yeah. you're on that level, mm -hmm. I yeah, that's a tough one because it depends on who you're who you're um, partnered with as well. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean in terms of like a label situation. Like for instance, I I, I decided to do. There's a there's a an, an an independent label called Elect Recordings, and I signed a deal with them to do my next couple projects mm -hmm. with. You know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm working on a, an instrumental tape, a beat tape. Okay. Uh, and then I'm also working on an EP, and I'm gonna release that through them, and then possibly you know full length if I you know if it comes to that. But right now the the what's you know contractually there is my beat tape and my EP, and. The, the there's no real constraints there like mm -hmm. creatively you know what i mean it's like of course they want the rights of re refusal or whatever to yeah. hear it make sure okay it's, it doesn't suck you know what i mean <laughs> go ahead and throw it out but whatever but i mean i think it would it does have a lot to do with whoever you partner yourself with and i would i would try to if if it if it meant that you know the whole becoming a household name thing i would try to make sure that i would know as best as i could who i was partnering with exactly. and what that would require of me as an artist like would that mean that i'd have to make this type of club song mm -hmm. or i mean i don't mind making a song for the club it's just what type of song am i making do i get to say what i want you know mm -hmm. what i mean if so then cool i'm gonna do it you know what i mean but so that's you're yeah. not trying to be the puppet on a string no 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 you've been through this this scene yeah, too long <laughs> exactly i'm not yeah I'm, I'm not trying to get handcuffed at this stage you know what i mean that's it yeah so what are these two albums that we have right here? These are this is just uh, copies of this of the same record. This is so journalism, the summer articles, and uh, this is uh, well seventeen tracks if you count seventeen the bonus. tracks. Yes, seventeen tracks of fire. Um, it, a lot of a lot of lyrics, uh, a lot of dope beats, and uh, just and ideas and and thoughts from. Uh, an artist, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, a growing artist trying to be a family family man and and uh, and hold it down as an artist as well. So yeah, that's what these are for you. Thank, thank you, thank you, you, thank you. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have to have that sign though. Boom. We'll probably play on the way home. Cool, <laughs> cool. Bump it. So, yeah. do, do you find it, it it being difficult to be in the hip hop industry and have a family at the same time? Uh, the level I'm on, no. no, because and the reason and the reason for that is because. I'm I'm not like my time isn't demanded on stage mm -hmm. like it is, you know what I mean, elsewhere, you know what I mean? My my thing is my, I make my bread and butter. I got a 9 to 5 and I'm a drummer. Like mm -hmm. my, that's how I make my living, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So when I play gigs, that demands time away from the house. So like it's got to make sense, you know what I mean? So that I mean, there's nothing in hip hop right now that's pulling me away from home in that way. You know what I mean? Nice. So it's not like I don't have that's not a sacrifice that I have to make. And not at this point. You Does know your wife mean? like going with you to your gigs? She used to, but <laughs> yeah. she's been with me for so long. Right. It's been like she's seen me. You know what I mean? Now it's only like we can get the date night going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Grandma to watch the boy. And then, yeah, you know, right. then we go do the, you know, go do the, the couple thing at the gig. Then I go work and then I come back and then we eat and then, you know, we'll, we'll ride, roll out. But, but yeah, I mean, it, she does occasionally, you know what I mean? On the special ones. Have you written that special song for your wife yet? I have. Ah, uh, has she heard I it have, yet? Yes, and it's oh. on that album. It is on that album. Yes. Ah, uh, what number is the, that? On the here? name. The name of the song is called "Definitely Special." It was oh. a song called "Perfect Fit" and number thirteen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Perfect nice. fit. Definitely special. Um, and I and it's interesting too because, um, it's funny. She and I talk about this stuff a lot, and I was telling her, uh, when you when you hit me up about the show and you said send me the music, and we always think like. 
but what's going to be people's favorite song? Uh -huh. Like, what's what's the cut that everybody likes? And the song that I wrote, and it's funny because I wrote it just about she and I, mm -hmm. our story, and people love that tune. But some people, it's some, it, it's hit or miss. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like different people. So the the songs that I sent you were the ones that I thought, okay, these are strong representations of me. Boom, where I'm at now, all that. This was a, a, a song that was kind of a time capsule, but also. You know what I mean? I think a, a love song that hopefully remains timeless. You timeless, know what I'm yeah. Yeah. It's great. When you when you when an artist uh, writes from their heart to someone mm -hmm. special, it always hits home with somebody. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and I know the ladies always love it. Love and it. then yeah. then the guys are listening to it and then you can't listen to it with your girl because you're like, why don't you? Because then, like you're yeah. then you're in trouble. Then you're in trouble. And you're like, maybe, yeah. maybe it'll inspire <laughs> this, right. this yeah. messed up my whole yeah, exactly. night. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Sojourn. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever been interested in, um, uh, as my brothers has done this before, um, DJing and a drummer at the same time? What do you think about that? Uh, I di I've done it. And have I, you done it? I okay. dig it. I, where I've done shows where I've set up my drums for my set and the DJ is still playing. And so I start playing along to what the DJ is playing. And then it's fun. Yeah. Then it's fun because then we start playing off of each other. Exactly. You know what I mean? He'll start cutting on. He's playing one tune and then I start playing the same beat or I play it like a counter rhythm, but it's still like in time and it's funky. Uh -huh. And then the DJ will start cutting with it. I love that. That's <laughs> yeah. that's fun. That's you cool. Get together yeah. With your you should, yeah, yeah, you should yeah. get together with my brother and put something together mm -hmm. like that. My brother DJs all around uh, San Diego. His name is DJ Noel. Um, okay. And Word. Uh, he's done this with my little brother before and had big shows with that and yeah, yeah it would be fun that, that would definitely would be fun People i would i would dig that man that'd yeah. be good that'd be really good so where what what's going on with you now i mean where you have an ep coming out mm -hmm. right yeah uh you be performing at uh P, mr peabody yes sir yes sir you have a facebook page you got all yes, this tell indeed. us a little about yes, what, what the future holds yes for. sir let me let me let me let me go ahead and, and blast out all the all the digital properties and things going down uh yes um i am on facebook i'm on there under trace t-r-e-s sojourn sojourn is s-o-j-o-u-r-n uh trace sojourn hodgins and um uh, I'm on Twitter as uh so just Twitter backslash uh soj s o j a y. Uh, I'm also on uh SoundCloud as soj as well. So just SoundCloud backslash soj s o j a y. Uh and then uh Instagram. Oh yes, Instagram. Instagram uh I, I was a little late to the party so I, I'm under there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Instagram as so journalist. Okay. Oh, yeah, like so That's so fine. yeah, so journalist. Uh, on on Instagram, S O J O U R N A L I S T. So journalist, um, and uh, I believe that's it. Oh, my Bandcamp, where you can get uh -huh. the record. Uh, it's just sojourn.bandcamp.com. So and then and then this one's called So Journalism, right? Yes, that's the name of the record. Yeah, So Journalism. Mm -hmm. And they can get it on iTunes. And yes, they can get it on iTunes. Uh, it's yeah, iTunes, Spotify, all your digital you know retailers. Uh, access music down in PB, um, and then of course for me directly on my Bandcamp site, uh, sojourn.bandcamp.com, and uh, yeah. It's so different from those kids that used to hustle in the streets trying to get you to listen to their CD. They well, walk right up to you like, yeah. "Hey, <laughs> we you had like rap music in Hollywood." We had someone yeah. in Hollywood at the mm -hmm. American um, Bad Boy movie premiere. We're at a movie premiere, and this guy's trying to hustle. So. Well, it was good though. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I respect it. that. I do. Too. I mean, and then the second yeah. you give them your business card that says <laughs> you're a radio it. host, <laughs> then they're like, "Oh, yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah." We're all dressed up for a premiere, and yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was cool. Yeah. But I, I still haven't, I, I still haven't listened to it yet. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I better not say that. I already said it. <laughs> uh oh. He's probably listening. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't remember this. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to it. I still got it. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. listen to it. Because we'll you never know. Him. You never know. We'll call him live on air one time and say, "Hey, you're live." <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're playing your song right yeah. now. <laughs> so make sure you act right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you can definitely uh, catch me on all those those digital properties. Um, I'm. I used to be more active on Twitter. I'm more active probably now uh gosh on facebook it, it it varies you know what i'm saying when i have something coming out or i have something that i want to promote i'll get on and i'll start yeah. mm -hmm. you know posting like normal like this uh this upcoming friday june 19th at the underground embassy mr peabody's and in encinitas 136 encinitas boulevard encinitas california a friday june 19th 
is going down. I will be rocking the set. Capital I Man, Nat Z, Kali, DSR, Karma of P-O-R, as well as a live beat set by Will Spliff, hosted by Billy No Jokes. Yeah. Encinitas. Yep. I en- know. Encinitas. Yeah, exactly. Encinitas coming on up. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just got I got some big pop hey, for Encinitas. There you go. go. I have good restaurants down there. I'll go eat in there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Make a night of it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Date night go down the street. Day. You know what I'm saying? Then come back up. Boom. There's a show happening. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we got to play one more song of yours real quick. And this one's called Civil War. Yeah. Tell us a little about it. All right, Civil War. Um, this one was like one of those ones where it was like out of your life kind of a thing. Um, I, was trying to, I was trying to write something that would be uh, symbolic that people could kind of latch on to, but it also kind of pull from like my experience or whatever. Uh, and it's basically the, the idea of when you want to do the right thing, but you still do the wrong thing, mm-hmm. that struggle in between the right and the wrong, that's the civil war. You know what uh, I mean? So I that's never heard the idea. That. That's, that's cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Your angel and your devil. There you go. So that's <laughs> basically what, and, it, and it's different for every person. Uh-huh. So it's like, that's why I wanted to just be like, okay, civil war, there's a war going on inside. You know what I mean? Like the whole, the mob deep line, but I took it and just kind of flipped Very it a little cool. bit. But there it is. That's what's up. Civil War Sojourn in the building doing his thing. Check him out. You don't want to uh, not support your local artists. But right. I mean, honestly, do it. This cat's doing his thing. You don't want to miss out on this. Civil War. Let's do it. soul i bump music of the revolution but some interruptions got me turning it down it's a civil war the innermost parts of my being to gain ground conflict all around classic confrontation battle of the skull of more ways than one my flesh weighs a ton gotta feed the spirit before it gets overrun by the fighter of the right between the two shun the vain babble idle chatter and such gotta guard my exposure from sin stimulus barricade against the barrage inundated with images of lust and i always distrust my own strength Man's never had enough muscle for the spiritual struggle See, we wrestle not against physicality But wicked principalities And that's the reality of this civil war I just let it flow Releasing gears of pain from within I let it go No inhibitions Just admission to the theme park of the mind Come along for the ride And hear the scene spark By a phrase Brighter days ahead Dark heart transformed Trying to blaze ahead The trails are uncharted Discarded deeds that remove me From the straight and narrow path I'm supposed to be on <laughs> Trying to do right When all I see is wrong All up in my face And it's a classic case Of the continual war Within a mortal men I do battle on Babylonian soil I'm born to win See my spirits enlisted but my flesh wishes it didn't. Therein lies a the struggle to stay consistent, man. Listen. It's a war. It's, it's a So I won't carry the shame that comes with dishonor in the name of the most high clarity close by. No haze to obscure my vision. You either choose to lose or make winning decisions. I'm not sure, but I'm sure that I won't stop living to get there. I spit this flare so you know where I'm coming from. We all have struggles of our own, but know that you're not alone. No longer running from the battle, I'm charging in. I'm man up when I fall. I get up and start again. In the civil war, you got to man up when you fall. Get up and start again. Is a wolf himself, is a wolf himself, is a wolf himself.
Civil War going on. I have a lot of civil wars going on in my head. I gotta let you know that daily. Yep. on a yep. daily basis. Yep. <laughs> see, that, see, I told you. I, I yes. thought that it would be relatable. You yeah. know what I mean? Yes. So I figured, you know, what I mean, I share a little bit of mine and just say, hey, this is a civil war. It's going on in everybody. So that's it what is. it is. It is. It's, yeah. it's true. It's true. You try to be good, but you want to be bad. Yep. <laughs> you Pretty try much. to be bad, but you want to be good. Yeah. <laughs> Either or. You know what I'm saying? Civil war. You know what I mean? It is fighting. <laughs> <laughs> real deal that's talk. cool man I, I i love your music man i love your style i i Thank like you. the way you deliver it and and it's not the same every single time yeah that's the thing yeah. you can bring us on roller coaster rides all over emotional situations yeah. and just just deliver it yeah all different ways it's, and it's it's really yeah. meaningful i do try thank you i appreciate that and, and thanks for like noticing that and picking that out because that's something else as well like um I mean, I don't want to get to the point where I'm repeating myself, you yeah. know what I mean? And that's something that if I could say, even if I'm saying the same thing, if I'm saying it in completely different ways, mm -hmm. then OK, cool. You know what I mean? Well, no one's going to be bored at a concert of yours. Meaning yeah, like exactly. They're gonna... <laughs> exactly. That is they're not going to be bored. <laughs> exactly. Word up. That's well, the that's point. What I was going to ask you. Do you like to perform or you like to record? What, what do you like better? Ooh, I think there's a, there. I, I have things that I love about both. Um, but there's nothing like performing. You know what I mean? The energy um, from the crowd. Yeah. I mean, the, the energy, energy from the crowd and then the energy that, like, there's certain things that you could do in the moment that aren't going to exist or you exactly. that aren't going to get recorded. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I love recording just because, you know, making the, 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 yeah, the production aspect mm -hmm. of it and just being a studio nerd and, and mm -hmm. getting into that type of stuff, the tech stuff um, and making the music. I love that too. But performing, there there's something that, you know, you can't download a performance. I mean, you can, I guess, nowadays, but it's not the same as actually being there and exchanging that energy. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what I dig. So I'm going to ask you one last question before we give our shout outs. And I want to say, if you were sitting in front of a young cat who has not been in the game as mm -hmm. long as you have or doesn't know as much as you have, what advice would you give them uh, right off the top? Uh, right off the top, I would say... Um, I would say be true to who you are. Um, get your influences from who you get your influences from, but don't try to be like any of them. Mm -hmm. Like don't don't try to be like anybody else because there's there's that whole thing of nobody can be you but you is there's nobody that can, there's something that's inside of you as an artist or you as a person that nobody else has. So focus on that and then sharing that with the world and then that will that will make you stand out in one way or another. The truth from Soldier. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Man, I, I want to, uh, first off, thank you very much for coming on. Thank um, you. If you can tell everybody again where they can get a hold of you, yeah. how they can contact you, where you're going to be playing at. Um, if the mic's yours. Cool. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, once again, uh, thank you for having me, everyone here uh, on the Soul Suite. Uh, you can reach me on Twitter at SoJ, and that's S-O-J-A-Y. Uh, I'm on uh, Facebook as Trace, T-R-E-S, Sojourn Hodgins. Uh, and then I'm on Instagram as Sojournalist, S-O-J-O-U-R-N-A-L-I-S-T. Uh, let's see, SoundCloud, if you want to hear just beats that I'm working on and what have you, I throw them up on SoundCloud, uh, SoundCloud slash Soj, S-O-J-A-Y. And then if you want to get the record, uh, you want to get it from me directly, uh, you can get it from my website at Sojourn, S-O-J-O-U-R-N dot Bandcamp dot com. And uh, yeah, get at get at me. Uh, I'm 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 available. I mean, I'm 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 a homebody, but when it's time to get out and rock, I do that. You can do your thing. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, you're grown, too. Yeah, so. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I like to give a shout out to my my folks, uh, all the heads listening right now, all the heads who will be listening. Uh, I like to give a shout out to my crew, my brothers, Future Shock, uh, Tunnel Rats, Foot Soldiers, uh, the other MCs and, and, and cats in Sparta, 
uh, all my machinists, machine masters, machine movement uh, online. And uh, everybody, everybody who's listening, who still cares about the art and the culture, man, uh, I, I, I uh, give you a huge shout, shout out and a salute. And again, he's going to be performing at Mr. Peabody's. Yes, sir. Mr. Peabody's June 19th. Friday, June 19th, Mr. Peabody's is going down the underground embassy in Encinitas. And in, yes, of all places, <laughs> once again, in Encinitas, if you can believe that, believe and, that. Man, again, uh, I want to thank you very much for coming on the show. It was an honor and a pleasure to have you. You are always you. welcome here. Thank you. Anytime. Um, and your talent and all of that is is amazing. Thank it's you. It's good. Appreciate that, man. Uh, yeah, next week. <laughs> it's like, she's trying through. to have you on it's already like, come, through. <laughs> come through anything you got miss catalina oh no i just really love your music it's thank you it's kind of like the music well marcus told me that it's it's the music i like it's yeah music you know i didn't grow up with it but it is what i listen to now so. I, I mean Word. i love it and coming from the the, the white girl in yeah. the corner <laughs> that's not a bad thing right. you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah and then again you remind me of the commons the Karis ones and right. and not 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 the um the not comparing like you're 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 them you're right. your own person but right. you can deliver it just yeah, as yeah, yeah. great and as well as they can if not even better Word. and it, 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 it does bring you on a roller coaster ride on all the different styles and i'm looking forward to checking out this yeah CD, man uh to journalism so journalism so journalism yeah um again check that out you guys make sure you support your local artists because i mean they are working twice as hard to make you feel twice as good and put out some great up. stuff that's what's for up. you yeah. and uh again this is a, a great cat to, to, to support yeah i'm gonna go see definitely special word yeah i'm gonna that's, check that's, it out that's the cut. <laughs> on the way home yeah man thank you thank you again for having me and uh and if i missed anybody on the shout outs um it just blame it on the mind and not the heart you know what i'm saying <laughs> love y'all <laughs> one love all right, say so, hey, you guys. I want you to check out the Soul Suite with Marcus Noel on Facebook. That's Soul Suite with Marcus Noel on Facebook. Or check out www.worldtunedradio.com. We have so much things that are coming up in the future. And me and Miss Catalina got a lot of new things hitting out That's soon. Right. Yeah. So you guys want Some to check it out. All kinds of fun yes, a lot of fun things. Again, we're going to be having Keith Robinson in the building in July. So yeah. take out, check out that. Uh -oh. You know who Keith Robinson was in Dreamgirls? Yes. He played CC White. That's right. Uh huh. And then I'm as excited. well as. Uh, Again, Malachi is going to be performing uh, in uh, on Tuesday at uh, Universal City Walk uh, in L.A. Uh, so we'll be up there on Tuesday checking that out and make sure that you uh, support that. You'll check it out on the Social with Marks Noel Facebook page and on WorldTuneRadio.com. As always, Miss Catalina. Sweet dreams. And soulful nights.
I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. Can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, we came a long way. from where we began. You know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. When I see you again First you both go out your way And the vibe is feeling strong And we're small Turn to a friendship A friendship turn to a bond And that bond will never be broken The love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first, then the line will never be crossed. Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn. And that line is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I went through, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last so one. let the light guide your way, yeah. Every road you take 